How are you all this evening? It's Anita Francis here, the founder and CEO of a global network called Global Empowerment Women Summit and the Elite Network Club. Now, I've popped on because I have got a fantastic interview with one of our international speakers, um, Ryan Tate, um, who will be speaking at our digital marketing conference. So I'll just tell you quickly a little bit about our guest speaker. So his name is Ryan Billy Tate. And as explained, he's from Australia, so bless him. He's, it's around about, I think it's 3 a.m. over there. So it, it's night and he stayed awake to speak to me. I feel so special. I feel so honoured. <laughs> okay, so a little bit about Ryan. Ryan co-founded the digital marketing agency SellingYourService.net and now provides himself on helping others discover how to successfully use the internet to share their talents to the world okay so that's what he's about he knows a lot about digital marketing and he's here to help others uh, to achieve th their goals and their purpose through using digital marketing strategies okay so let's see if technology plays ball today and I am going to try and invite our international speaker from Australia on okay so bear with me popping on um, a lot of people popping on so it must be a very very popular subject um sales funnels. <laughs> oh, that's very exciting and i appreciate you having me on uh tonight definitely it's uh, oh. really exciting no thanks a lot and like I, I was explaining to the audience it is now is it around about three three just after three a.m yeah, oh three <laughs> So I feel so I feel so honoured and so blessed. Thank you so much, Ryan, for staying up to have this this conversation. I really mean that. Not Thank a problem. So no, no. <laughs> okay. So right. So let's sort of dive into the questions, and um, because I know a lot of people are are popping on and they're they're eager to know know how you can help them. Okay. Yeah, so first sure. of all, starting off, I have explained a little bit about what you do, but if you can just elaborate on that, what is actually your background? Yeah, sure. Uh, probably four years ago, really fell in love with working online. Um, was through finding sort of uh, multi-level marketing or network marketing I thought I don't want to necessarily um, hit just family and friends about, uh, you know, a, a health-related product. I'd, I'd like to be able to use the internet. There's billions of people on the internet to yeah. talk to people about that opportunity. And then since then, I've sort of fallen in love with the methods of, of talking yeah. to different people more so than actually selling selling the product so um yeah and prior to that uh did a lot of trades jobs i i sort of did fishing and okay. fixing ceilings and lots of not very pretty <laughs> jobs um but yeah. <laughs> uh i find that that's sort of given me more drive now to mm. be able to go totally full-time online so I, mm. I work a couple of days a week casual now selling gym and fitness equipment Okay, um, but that's just to have that consistency, and and um, my yeah. parents said, don't give that away, and you know it's it's important <laughs> to have a a, a job as well. But um, yes. but yeah, my real passion is as much as I love that job, my real passion is working online and and yeah. what what's possible with with that side yeah. of things. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Digital, digital. I, I always explain this that my background's in marketing, and um, I didn't do digital marketing. I, I don't know what that is. Um, so um, I had to learn myself how to do digital marketing, and um, I, I'm loving it. I enjoy it because it, you know the Facebook has Facebook for me is my biggest platform. I'm on I'm on all the platforms, but my biggest platform is Facebook and that's allowed me to spread my message around the globe. You know, so without this digital marketing, I, I don't know how, it would have been a lot harder to do that. I really do believe that. Oh, definitely. And all you need to do is sort of look at the people you're wishing happy birthday to and, and things like that online yeah. to realise how yeah. how widespread it really is you know you're seeing thanksgiving in canada being on a different day to yes. north america and 
yeah. and all this and just just little things that you sort of learn over time as well uh, about different cultures and things like that I think it's really interesting yeah, as well and I, yeah. I think it does vary from the rest of the business world in a sense where people are a lot more happy to help I, I think often in yeah. in a traditional business world people kind of guard their secrets yeah. to their chest a little yes. bit whereas yeah. I find that people are more yeah. open in a online sense and yeah. and one thing I sort of like to touch on is that it's not as complicated as as it can be sometimes perceived I think people often get daunted by the idea yeah. of, of doing things online and yeah. if it's not their background but it really isn't rocket science and, and a lot yeah. of the principles have been around for a very long time. It's just converted from a traditional uh, yeah. sense to, you know, to maybe writing an ad, say for a newspaper ad, making yeah. that a, a video sales letter rather than just an, an advert that goes in the paper yeah. and that sort of thing. So uh, I always like to touch on that fact with people that, that um, you know, it's probably quite common really for most people to say, I think it's important that I, I do do something online, but I just wouldn't know yeah. where to start. And, uh, yeah. yeah, it's yeah. it's not that hard, especially, you know, in this day and age, maybe a little bit harder sort of 15, 20 years ago, but, but a Definitely. lot of the sort of systems now yeah. are very simple to use, you know? Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. I I definitely agree with that. Yeah, I and the thing is, you've got to get started because I always say this. Yeah, a lot of businesses um they went bust because of they didn't move at the times. So this is before you know big companies, that big chip companies that started way before the digital era, and because they didn't move at the times, you know people's buying habits completely change, and they didn't have you know they didn't move at the time, so they were left behind. So I always say it's so important that you need to implement a strategy, digital marketing into your into your business strategy. Um, otherwise, I, I personally believe that your brand will suffer because this is how we communicate. This is how we communicate today to the world, to the masses. So, yeah. Most fantastic. definitely, yeah. It, it really is important. It's, um, I mean, all you need to do is say, look at, at the yellow pages of of gone past you know people yeah. they're kind of non-existent now because people yeah. jump on google that's, that's their it. search engine they're going to look up businesses that's that it. way um yeah and you know people do expect immediate answers they're not as patient as they used to be so yeah. if they yeah. want to know if a restaurant's open they want to know <laughs> right now no. <laughs> not, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah so having, time. yeah, I think just having those systems set set up where people can get instant answers and things like that, it it increases your um, the desire for people to search your business and that sort of yeah. thing as well. And I mean, one one that I'm really um, really hot about is is the messenger marketing. So Anita, you mentioned Facebook being such a, a big part of, of what um, you do with your business. And yeah. if you yeah. look at the messenger platform within Facebook, mm -hmm. there's now the ability to, uh, and you know about this, but it, just for other people yeah. that may, may not have heard is, you know, you can actually set up a conversational flow within messenger that's automated. Yeah. So, and not, not to put people off and think, oh, why would I want to talk with a robot? sort of thing or uh, you know um, that they are called chatbots but basically yeah. a lot of the commonly asked questions people can jump in and, and say it's a restaurant as an example if they want to know what time you open where you're situated um, what the menu is these sorts of things that would take time away from particularly an owner that doesn't have a lot of sort of staff and that sort of thing you can have these questions all set up and then if someone yeah. jumps into Messenger and says, oh, what, what's your drinks menu? It picks up on that word and then it will show them a drinks menu that they can eye off and then make a booking yeah. right there and then. So, oh, cool. and, yeah. and humans can jump in at any stage. It's not just totally automated. Uh, you know, there, there can be human interference at any point where they can think, yeah. oh, I better jump in here and, 
and actually, yeah, talk to the person as well. Yeah, um, amazing. And, and I mean, that, that's a prime example of people being um, daunted by setting that up. And it, it's as simple as doing a text, really. If you think what, what is, if yeah. I sat in a room with a, a, one of my customers for half an hour and we shut the door and locked the door and just had a bit of scrap paper, what are the questions that would generally be asked by that, that customer? Um, and yeah. then you can set it up basically like an SMS yeah. that you would SMS a friend or, a, you know, another yeah. person yeah. and just, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I mean, I think, yeah, I, mm. sorry, yeah, go. Sorry, Anita. <laughs> you go. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to say that. No, no, no worries. I was going to say that Messenger. I'm I'm constantly on Messenger more than texting. Um, yeah. I share links. You know, that's just how I. That's just how literally I've grown my brand is through Messenger. So yeah. yeah. So what's it called? The chat box? Did you say the chat box? Uh, yeah. Um. So chat is in chatting like C H A T. And then okay. bots as in like robot, so B O T, so chat bot. Oh, bot. Yeah. bot. oh bot. Yes, bot. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, Interesting. But I mean, as I say, people that aren't aware of it hear the word bot and they think, oh, robot. I don't want to. I don't want to be talking with a robot. But I mean, yeah. what they've found in in a lot of circumstances, um, one was was broke broking um, loans, they found that the people preferred actually dealing with someone instantly um, or a, yeah. a chat bot that, that could give them answers, pre-qualify them, talk yeah. about, and then yeah. give them an instant answer. So they found that their yeah. loans went up substantially, that it was selling 30% wow. better than a human broker. So Wow. Um, yeah, yeah, that definitely has some applications. It's it's quite amazing. Definitely, yeah. I really believe I, I, when you're speaking um, next week, Saturday, if you could touch on that, because, um, you know, I, 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 I believe in that. And like I said, you know, I'm always on Messenger. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, if you could explain to my audience more next week about that, then that would be definitely. fantastic, Ryan. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Bye. Right, great stuff. Right, okay. Let, I think you covered number question number two because you asked. We we were talking about um is sort of marketing and advertising um daunting for some, and I think you've co you've covered that anyway. So fantastic. Yeah. Let's dive into to, to question three. Um, right. On some of your other videos, you talk about mindset, my favorite topic, mindset and self development. How important do you feel? This is for people wanting to work in the digital space. Paramount. I, I'm a big believer in it. And I, I think a lot of the audience, uh, I'm sure a lot of your audience, Anita, would, would be aware of, you know, mindset and, and getting out of your own way and and just, you know, our belief in, in succeeding and things like that. So um, I, I think... Sometimes being in a digital space gets a bit of a bad rap in terms of um, keyboard warriors or trolls that are out there and things like that, yeah. which yeah. if people aren't used to it and, um, and they're wanting to, to do some things online, and I think if you have a bit of a fixed mindset, those sort of hurdles could be enough to put a lot of people off and think, well, yeah. Yeah. someone's, you know, I've done, say, let's say a value related posts, say a blog post or something like that related to their business. Um, let's say they're a dog trainer and they do a nice blog post on, you know, training your dog and someone's jumped on and, and decided to, to say all sorts of different horrible things perhaps about the, yeah. the post. Often they're just there to, to stir because they are bored and yeah. they've got nothing happening yeah. in their life. And, I think if you if you're not set on your goals and and wanting to you know achieve different things, I think it can be enough to put us off. So I just think it's important to to enter the space and just have some goals and have some ambitions and things like that. And and 
really let it be like water off a duck's back. If people aren't yeah. your yeah. tribe, then then not your tribe. You know, let them not yeah. be your tribe because yeah, yeah, it's um, it, it is a tough world out there because it's so easy for yeah. someone to be horrible online. There's there's often yeah. those people don't have a profile picture. They got a picture of a puppy yeah. or something like that. Oh, so, I hate those ones. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hate those so, ones. Yeah, I actually. Yeah, I mean, sorry, sorry I was just sorry, so to interrupt you. No, no, no yeah. worries. Sorry to interrupt you. What you just said about the puppy, <laughs> the puppy, the puppy mm. pictures and things like that. I don't accept friend requests from anyone like that. If I can't physically see your face, then that's a little bit. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I'm suspicious. Like that. Yeah. And probably a good tip for anyone watching that's thinking about being more online. Uh, it is good to have a, a nice photo that, that presents yeah. well and, and you look friendly and approachable, yeah. um, especially if you are wanting to, to do some business online and yeah. and um, yeah. do those sorts of things. But, yeah, I, I mean, I could talk about mindset for, for hours, but I, I just think <laughs> it's important to, to always be growing. And, you know, I mentioned... When you asked for a bit of a blurb for this event, I, I did say that the most, the thing that we can work on that no one can take away from us is ourselves. And if we yeah. do focus on that and, and Brian Tracy, an older gentleman that um, he was, he was one of the first car salesmen in Canada and um, he's, yeah. a, he's an older gentleman now, but Brian Tracy yeah. talked about ratcheting our skills up and a bit like um, a Jack a jack with a car once you yeah. ratchet your skill level up it can't really yeah. drop you know so yeah. and Agreed. the other one i like is if you're coasting you can't really coast on a flat surface you kind of need to be coasting down so if you're coasting and not learning new things and improving mm -hmm. your skills you you're kind of on a decline really so yeah, cool. i think that's really important as well yeah yeah and you just have to be open you know, life's a journey, isn't it? So, yeah. you know, we're, we're always evolving, you know, into, you know, being better. So, yeah, yeah, I, I, mindset. I, I come across a lot of women in, like, if you can imagine, a lot of women in my network, Um, you know, in regards to sort of the mindset and self-development, um, it's really needed. It's really needed. Um, and even with myself, you know, you know, I'm not perfect. You know, I have days where like, oh, I feel like rubbish and, you know, I don't want to do anything. And, you know, you have problems behind the scenes when you're running a business and, um, you know, you've got to stay focused. You have to stay focused yeah. on your purpose. So very, very, yeah. We Definitely. could go on forever with Mike. Ah, <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah, we've got so much people popping on. Andrew, hello, Andrew, how are you? Manjit Sahoti, Emily, hello, Chrissy Gregory, how are you, my darling? We've got Chris Chapman, we've got Neil Bullock again, and Nadine French and Monica Fuller. Thank you all, thank you all. That's popping on, fantastic. Right, okay, thank you for that, Ryan. Let's dive into right, the right. fourth question, and that is one of the oldest sayings in marketing is the money's in the list meaning having an email list what's your thoughts on this uh i probably preempted this one a little bit talking about the messenger marketing but um i still believe that yes it's important to have an email list and and be able to follow up people that that you've sort of that have shown interest like they've proven that it takes between eight and 12 touches with someone before they can commit to something where we're yeah. like that as humans. We, we right. are skeptical at first. And I think we're yeah. taught that way to, to always be a bit wary of things. And, yeah. and especially when it comes to buying things, we kind of go, Oh, is this legitimate? Yeah. Is this something I want to yeah. do? Yeah. I'm not sure I want to yeah. commit to it. Do I have the time? So often, you know, especially online, now we're bombarded with so much, you know, I think I forget the figures, but I think it's 15,000 sales messages a day on average, something like that. It may even be higher. But I think if you don't have that list that you can then go back to and give more value to, it can be very hard. But uh, yeah. the thing I'd like to touch on is I believe that email, email is 
a little bit, uh, I think we get so many emails these days that you, you can yeah. miss a lot of things. So I'm quite big on still building on an email list, but there's also things like browser notifications, which okay. if someone opens their computer, um, for any people that, that aren't aware of what a browser notification is, if you open your laptop, say, and, and about to jump on Facebook and, and you know, message mum or something in a different country or something <laughs> like that, a browser notification can pop up and say, you know, Ryan Billy Tate did a video on mindset or Anita's done another live on the global empowerment. Right. Um, and it'll just okay. give people a reminder which they opt into um, and they can take that away at any point. But um, yeah. that's, that's sort of, for me, I think a great way to go because people aren't needing to open their email list and go through 18 emails that have come in yeah. since lunchtime. It's actually popping yeah. up. So one gentleman that uh, I quite like, Neil Patel, talks a lot about marketing and, and he's one of the notifications that I've subscribed to. So he does videos oh. very often. So I'll see that pop up. Um, yeah. And then the other one is the, the messenger marketing. Well, there's plenty of other ways really, but you know, the, Another prime example is, is the one that um, we're going to talk about at the event is that messenger marketing. Um, and it gets better all the time. You can send, you know, great little videos. You can send images. You can run um, little like a roulette or something like that. You can have right. a bit of fun with it. So it's yeah. not just writing. And it's kind of delivered differently too. So um, often with an email, it'll be quite a long a long form, whereas with yeah. messenger marketing, it's smaller blocks of writing with some images and, and it keeps it a lot more interesting. But I think yeah. people, if you've got that little red notification on your messenger, you, you want to go and check what that yeah. is. It's not like email Very where true. you can kind of ignore it. Yeah. People yeah. definitely want to open true. it and have a look. So. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yes, I believe the the money is still in the list, but I think it's not just email lists. It's it's building yeah. lists. I um, mean, there's WhatsApp groups now. There's SMS. Yeah. Um, and again, I don't want people to get daunted and go, "Oh gosh, I don't want to try and build an SMS list and this list and that list." <laughs> you can focus in on what kind of works for you. Say a, a WhatsApp it. list yeah. might not work if you're a real estate representative, yeah. whereas you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, perhaps the, the messenger platform is a lot better if you're in that niche. So you, yeah. you kind of work out through other people as well what might be a better avenue to go down. But um, yeah. there's plenty of different ways. I mean, another one that, that really I think is quite mind-blowing is we can do webinars, which, which is great for some business niches because mm -hmm. a webinar, you're giving value to people, you're, you're yeah. able to... Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And you can actually have it as an evergreen webinar. So once you've shot it once and you're happy with it, you can have that available to the person that wants to see it at any stage. And with an evergreen um, webinar, the other thing we can set up is if people ask questions within the chat uh, messenger section at the bottom of the webinar, that will come straight through to their phone. So they could be sitting on the beach in Bora Bora and a, and a request comes yes. through and says, uh, oh, no. "I'd like to know more." Yeah, and yeah. you can sit on your phone and just write a write a reply, and that'll come straight through to them. So love it. Yeah, yeah, I love it. That sounds oh yeah, definitely want that. That sounds that sounds amazing. That really does. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll talk more about that at the at the event as well. You'll give more information. Yeah, definitely. About okay. Oh, yeah. fantastic, fantastic. And you have to also find out what works for you, like you explained. Um, you know, I'm on. I'm. I use Messenger a lot, as I explained. But I also have got a WhatsApp group. Um, that our club presidents from around the world can get together. You know, connect and network. Um, so and that works well for me. So everything that you do. I believe you have to test it to see if it does really work for you. And if it does, then yep. fantastic. You know, so yeah, yep. brilliant. Okay. Brilliant. Okay, right. Let's go on to the final question. And the question is, what's one of your biggest tips 
for people wanting to wanting to do their own marketing and advertising so what is one of your biggest tips for people wanting to do their own marketing and advertising i the the one word would be value it, it's really important okay. to yeah. to to give value and and yeah. as humans where if we're being sold to we quickly turn off turn so off. I yeah. think yeah. it's great to get in the shoes of the customer, the ideal customer that, that you're wanting to, to work with. And, and when I say customer, it might be not selling as such. It might be yeah. to, to bring them into your world and, you know, it might be cooking group or something like that. So it's not necessarily selling to someone. But if you think, put put yourself in their shoes and think, well, what would I get value from if I was wanting to do, say, a cooking class or um, I, I like the dog training one. I find that quite an easy one. So let's say we were in dog training and we want to promote the fact that uh, we've got trainings on the weekends for dogs. Um, okay. So you could go out and say what most people would do is just give a percentage off and say, well, we've got 20% off our classes on the weekends for dog training at the moment, click the link below uh, to, to get there. But I think if people are scrolling through that, oh yeah, 20% off dog training, yeah. you know, whereas if you call the person out, so let's say you're running ads in, um, you know, uh, Birmingham, Birmingham dog owners, um, three top tips to train your dog. And then you have yeah. a four minute video that runs and, and you actually give four top tips on how to train yeah. your dog. And then the call to action or the thing that you ask them to do at the end, um, if you haven't heard call to action before, is below is a seven-minute video with another six tips, which I can't cover in this video. So if you click the link yeah. below, then I can show you another six top tips for, for training your dog. Yeah. By then, you've, they've kind of got a no like, and trust factor. They're like, wow, they've given me three yeah. top tips to train my dog. Yeah. I'm, yes, I think yes. I will click the link below. And then, and then what you can do is actually deliver that seven-minute video within the Messenger platform. So if they click the wow. link below, they haven't needed to put their email and their name in because Facebook's already got that information. They then okay. go into Messenger on a business page it's messengers actually collecting their their name and their details so they've become a subscriber straight away um yeah. and and then that's let's say you get 80 people over a two-week period watch that video you've then got yeah. 80 people that you can broadcast messages to yeah. and give more value yeah. so without banging on too long i can go into it more on the, the <laughs> seminar but i think yeah. rather than give money off and a you know book now sort of message i think if you can give okay. value um okay. you've got the person halfway there already they're like yeah. wow yeah. i've got so many tips yeah. already this yeah. is great cool. yeah 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 definitely because that's what it's about you know with this event itself i start i thought of putting on this event earlier on in the year and i i, I really thought to do this because i need i needed to know how to learn this digital marketing you know i needed to know i knew i knew that i needed to learn new strategies in order to really grow my brand um so so i thought if i feel that way there must be other women you know around the world that feels that way and um i've tested that and that is true so um it's value you know this is what we're, what we're doing here you know is giving real value and um and that's what the event is about so they can go away and take that information and, and apply it to, to their business so they can, you know, um, increase their, their their clients and, you know, and make sales. You know, that's what it's about, you know. So just want, yeah. I just want to double check some things. So because I know with me, um, when someone talks, it's I write things down, but I still don't get it. <laughs> that's just me. So I just want to double check because cause, cause I'm next week, Saturday. Obviously, you won't be flying from australia unfortunately to the uk that's next year ryan that will be next hopefully year. hopefully next year yeah yes yes <laughs> so we're going to be live streaming. <laughs> so we're going to be live streaming you 
and um, it, it's an interactive event. So um, will you be able to show things for them to understand what you're talking about? Yeah, definitely. I've put some thought into that, Anita, and I think perhaps I'd like to really prepare quite an, an amount of slides and things showing okay. step by step. I, okay. I I can't iterate enough the 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 side of things that I I kind of want it to be simple for people. I I yeah. I'm yeah. the same. Like I I find video trainings and things interesting, whereas if I start to read through, I find it. I start to lose interest in things. So, um, yeah, I, I just, I don't, um, I don't want people to be daunted. I want them to see how simple everything actually is. Um, so I was thinking a real mix would be quite good. So uh, okay. particularly with Zoom, I can do a screen share and, and show things. But I thought okay. with the way technology can be, if I rely totally on showing everything live, it might <laughs> So I thought right. perhaps, yeah. Um, yeah, I thought I can prepare slides and then and show examples of, of say, you know, if we're going to show how to build a simple website, I can show step one, step two, step three, step yeah. four. Yeah. And then if yeah. people have additional questions on top of that, then I can share my screen and actually show show that at that element that they've got right. a question on. And yeah. So. Yeah. Good. Yeah. 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 Yeah, <laughs> I can't wait. Honestly, I really can't wait. I really can't. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ryan. Honestly, I mean that right. from the bottom of my Thank heart. Because, it, <laughs> yeah, it's the, you know, the it, eight, what, four coming to 3.30 a.m. or is it 3.45 a.m.? Yeah, something <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. We've had so much people popping on. Um, we've had um, Doreen, who's one of our club presidents down here in Birmingham, UK. And um, she said fantastic information. So she's found that very informative, oh. which is really good. So, oh. yeah. Thanks. So, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of my network are really wanting to learn how they can move their business, you know, in, in the 21st century um, using digital yeah. marketing. So fantastic. So fantastic. Thank you so much for that. And um, no yes, I so look forward to speaking with you and my audience from the UK next week, Saturday. And um, yeah, fantastic, Ryan. I hope you all Excellent. enjoyed um, Ryan's talk. I hope you found it useful. Mm -hmm. And like I explained, Ryan is one of our guest speakers, international guest speaker at our digital marketing conference on the 9th of November, which is next Saturday. I can't wait. So grab your ticket. For, you can grab your tickets below. So it'll be in the link. All right. So thank you all for popping on. And Ryan, thank you again. And I'd say good night. Thanks, yeah. Or is it good morning? Good night. <laughs> Thanks, Amanda. Okay, I'll, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. Excellent. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>